It's Bird on TV, my name is The Premium Rat, and welcome back to another brand new FIFA 16 preview video. As you guys know, or you should know, we play Aston Villa on Monday night. It's the first time we've been featured on Monday Night Football, so we'll have to see if Gary Neville and Jamie Carragher absolutely rip into us, but they shouldn't do because we've actually had a good start to the season. Anyway, as I said, we're playing Aston Villa. This is the team that I believe will start against them. Um, it's going to be exactly the same side that beat Bournemouth at the weekend very comfortably. Obviously, Kane with the hat-trick. We've gone for Lloris in goal, Rose, Vertonghen, all the way and Walker as the uh, the back four with Dyer and Deli Ali as the two centre defensive mids. I've gone with Ericsson on the left again, Dembele at Cam and Lamella on the right. Now, to be honest with you, these three throughout the game interchange anyway, but I strongly believe that these that that's where they'll start. And obviously, we'll go for Harry Kane up front. In terms of injuries, then on the bench we've got Mason back in. He came on and played the last 15, 20 minutes against Bournemouth, but Chadley misses out. Son is close to a return but misses out, and Ben Taleb as well is very close to a return, but he also misses out. So as always guys we're going to be playing on legendary to keep it as as you know realistic as possible so let's see how we get on Dyer's just bursting through though finds his midfield partner Ali gives it to Dembele out wide what's he going to do from here he's going to try and find a one two with Ericsson found the one but couldn't find the two actually it's come back to him he's drilled it across it's Ericsson it's deflected and it's gone in so lucky but we'll take that when your luck's in and to be honest with you our luck is in at the moment Looking back at Boric, he had an absolutely shocking game against us. It was the one-two between Dembele and Eriksson. He cut it back. Eriksson took the strike and it came off a of Corey, I think it was. May have come off his arm, actually. But it might have been Michael Richards, actually. One of the two. But we won the up. Good start, boys. Get on there, Eriksson. Well done. Shocking touch from the ex-Spurs man, Alan Hutton. And now we can bring it forward. Here's Eriksson. He's coming all the way inside. It's Christian Eriksson to make it too unlucky. It was a good tackle. And now Villa should be able to clear it. But he's giving it straight to Dembele to make it too. Good save from Guzan. And Kane has somehow smashed that in off the bar. What are Villa doing? What are Villa doing? First of all, Hutton gives it away to Eriksson. He came inside. The shot was blocked. And eventually, Michael Richards has got all the time in the world to clear that. Dembele takes it off him. Harry Kane pushes Clark out the way, I think it is. And absolutely thunders one off the bar. And we're tuning up. Buzzing. And here he goes now down this left-hand side. He's got plenty of options. Couldn't find Ali, though. Plenty of options, but couldn't find any one of them. Danny Rose. Walker's now got to step in. And here's Gestead. It's a 1-2 between him and Bakuna, I think it was. And they fired that right into the top corner. To be honest with you, it was well worked by Villa. Around our box. Good one-two between Bakuna and Gested. Laid it back to Bakuna. Aston Villa fans don't normally have a lot to celebrate at the moment. Well worked. Vertonghen and Alderweireld and Walker got all drawn out of position. And Loris is not, not to blame there. Couldn't get his hand to it. And they've brought one back just before half-time, boys. Dyer's got to win this back. And he's done well, him and Ali and Lamella. And here's Dembele. And here is Harry Kane. What can he do now? Where are his runners? Where are his options? His options coming down the left-hand side in the form of Christian Eriksen, who's going to come in on his right foot. Can he make it three? Oh, it's deflected wide. Unlucky. Did well to come in on this left-hand side. I think it was Kieran Clark that made the block in the end. That was thundering into the top corner. Comes off his shoulder, and it's going to be a corner. And it's going to be that man Eriksen to whip it in. Who's there? Lamella's there. It's come out to Deli Ali on the edge of the box. Oh, what a finish from Deli Ali! What a goal. Absolutely strike that. What a finish, son. Ericsson whipped in the corner. Guzan did well to punch it clear, but just couldn't get any distance on it. And it kindly fell to Ali. Takes one touch and with his second, absolutely fires it into the corner. And we've restored our two-goal cushion. Clips the post on the way through. What an unbelievable finish from the youngster. And we're 3-1 up. Well done, boys. It's going to be Mason to whip it in then. Can we add another? Who's there? Townsend's there. He's never going to win those headers though. He's not built for jumping in the air, is he, old Andros? Keeper's missed it. What's going on? It's Danny Rose. Oh, my Lord. Aston Villa, what are you doing? No wonder you lot are bottom of the league. No wonder you lot are bottom of the league. And the referee blows up then. Comfortable 3-1 victory. Ericsson gave us the lead before Kane made it 2 can't remember who got the third one. Oh, it was Ali, wasn't it, from the edge of the box. An incredible strike. Villa did 
bring one back just before half time, but that was fairly comfortable. And to be honest with you, that's how I see it going tomorrow night. Um, you know, Villa have lost six in a row. They're bottom of the league. They're managerless. And so, you know, we're one of the form sides in the Premier League, unbeaten in nine. It should, I repeat, should, touch wood, should be a comfortable victory tomorrow night. I can see it being a two, three, maybe even four nil. We could put, 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 put four past them. Can't even speak. I want to hear your predictions down in the comments section. Let me know what the score will be. And let me know if you think there'll be any changes. I believe it'll be the same side because of injuries. You know, we've still got a few players on their way back from injury. And this is going to be big preparation for the big one on Sunday. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you are new around here, do not forget to subscribe to Spurred on TV. Drop the video a thumbs up. It helps both me out and it helps the Spurred on TV guys out. Other than that, I love you all. And hopefully, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.